Today we're going to create a dotted grid effect in Adobe Photoshop. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and I'm a visual artist and graphic designer. A little while back I posted a poster process on my YouTube channel and I've gotten a lot of questions over the years asking me how to recreate this effect. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So first off, I didn't invent this effect, I actually learned this from Ryan Shorter. I hope I pronounced the name correctly, probably not. Anyways, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description down below. Without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So as you can see, this is what we'll be making today. The emphasis on this tutorial will be on how to create any image and turn it into this like gritty pattern, basically. Let's start from scratch. I'm gonna make a new document and this is not necessarily important, but what I try to do is I try to keep it in increments of 10. So in my case, we're gonna do 2000 by 1000 pixels. And we're just gonna create a white solid. So we're gonna click here, solid color, and we'll make sure that's white. And then you're gonna drop in your image. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a transparent image, but in my case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in some illustrations from the scientific illustrations pack that's available on my website. So if you wanna get some cool insect illustrations like these, you can find them in the link in the description down below. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold command or control on my keyboard and click on the thumbnail of the insect here. I'm gonna to go to select, modify, expand. And we're gonna expand this by 10 pixels. Click okay. Now we're gonna click on the wings layer, hold alt or option on our keyboard and then click on the mask button here in the bottom right. And as you can see, this now deletes like the overlapping parts of the design. And we're gonna clean that up just a little bit. Let's hold alt or option on our keyboard here and we'll just paint all of this in with black. Like this. And again, we'll hold Alt or Option on our keyboard and then click on the mask icon here in the layer menu. And now the view is again our normal view. So this is the base art that I started out with. And the main principle of this layer is basically we're gonna create a pattern that has a certain shape of hole in it. In my reference video, it was a hexagon and in this one is gonna be a circle, but it can basically be any shape you want. And we're gonna use it as a cutout pattern over this whole thing. It'll be a lot clearer when I show you. So we're gonna make a new file. I'm gonna make it 10 by 10 pixels. So really small. And then we're gonna click on create. And if we press Ctrl or Command zero on our keyboard, and this will scale our canvas to fit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just create a white layer. So we're gonna hold Shift and Backspace. And then we'll just fill it with white. Click OK. And now you wanna get your shape that you want. In my case, I'm gonna draw a circle here from eight by eight pixels, I think. And we're just gonna make sure that it's centered. And in my case, it already is. And like I said, this can be any shape that you want. In my case, it's just gonna be a circle. Anyways, we're gonna hold Command or Control on our keyboard and click on the icon of the ellipse here in the layer menu. And this will select our entire ellipse shape. And then we'll go to the white layer in the bottom. And again, hold Alt or Option and click on the mask button here. And this will create an inverted mask. Now, if we hide our top ellipse by clicking on the I button here, this basically makes it so that we have a really small white image with a hole cut out of it. So the next thing you want to do is select this white layer here. So don't select the mask. Click on the left icon here, just a white square. Go to Edit, Define Pattern. And if this is grayed out in your screen, that probably means that you don't have this specific layer selected. So let's click on Define Pattern and you can name it whatever you want. Let's go back to our design here. Click on the circle, half circle bottom here. And it's kind of like behind my head here, but you need to click on pattern. And usually Photoshop shows you this beautiful image of shrubs. If you made your pattern correctly, it should end up here. And then we'll click OK. And now we have a pattern layer. Here. And as you can see, it already looks kind of like it's fitted in this grid, but not entirely. So let's zoom in for the next part so we can see what we're gonna fix now. The first thing is let's hide our pattern for now and focus on our art. 
So the first thing that we need to do is select all of the parts that define our art layer. In my case, that's the two insects and the white background. Right click, convert to smart object. Now let's show our grid again. And the thing I'm gonna do now is pixelate this. So I'm gonna go to filter, pixelate, mosaic, and the cell size we're gonna enter will be 10. And the reason it's 10 is because the document size of our initial like whole pattern is also 10. So let's click on OK. And now we're gonna go to adjustments and add a threshold layer. And now you have your fully dotted artwork. To finish this off, what I did was I just added a adjustment layer, a gradient map to be precise. And this will map the black to another color and the white to another color. And I think I picked this color. And if I click on reverse, this will map white to these dark blue colors and black to these magenta colors. So if you wanna resize this or change the shape, let's start with resizing first. So the first thing you gotta do is double click on your pattern layer. And let's say that we wanna scale it to 15 pixels. Then what you need to do is think, okay, our pattern is 10 pixels large. So if we scale it up by 150%, then the grid size will be 15 pixels. Now we'll click okay. And we'll go to mosaic and change the cell size to 15 as well. And as you can see, these two things really cooperate well. You just have to make sure that all of these sizes match. That's the whole thing. Another thing that we can do is let's scale this back to 100%. And what we, can, what we then can do is remember at first we had this cell size to 10. If we double the cell size, so we'll make it 20. This will also work, but it looks a lot weirder. But this also makes for a pretty fun effect if you're interested in that. I'm just gonna change mine back to 10 and 10. And now let me show you how to change the shape of the grid. Because if we zoom in now, these are all circles. So let's go back to our pattern layer here. And for now, we'll just duplicate this by pressing Control or command j on our keyboard and we'll hide this layer i will delete the layer mask here so if we hold our mouse over the ellipse tool you can find some other tools for shapes as well let's make diamonds in this case so for example let's make a rectangle at six by six pixels and we'll make sure that this is aligned to the middle and by pressing Control or command t Let's rotate this. It might look a little bit too similar to the circle. Let's just keep it as a normal square, like this. So again, we'll hold Command or Control and click on the layer thumbnail to select the square. We'll hide it for now. And we'll go to the white layer, hold Alt or Option on our keyboard and click on the mask button here. And we'll create a hole in our white canvas. And again, make sure that we select this white layer, go to Edit, Define pattern, name it whatever you want. And if we go back to our file now and we'll change this pattern to another one, you can see that they're now all squares. So pretty neat, right? So there you have it guys, a pretty quick and easy way to turn your art into this dotted grid. It's a really cool effect and I cannot wait to see whatever you guys are gonna make with it. So if you wanna show whatever you made with this tutorial, be sure to send it on our Discord. The link for that will be in the description. And if you wanna just get this as a PSD file to play around with it and learn about it, you can get the PSD files on my Patreon channel. The link for that will also be in the description and this will also give you access to all of the other project files from all of my videos. If you just need this one, you can just subscribe for one month and then just unsubscribe immediately and download whatever you need. No hard feelings. With all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.